It's funny, this floofy little shirt, my daughter saw me and told me I look middle-aged. And I said, what? <laughs> Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm here to talk about my purchases for the month of August. Um, before I get into everything, because I know I said last month that I would calm down. I didn't really in August. <laughs> Um, so before we get into that, uh, I just want to say why I do these types of videos. It's not to show off what I have or to try to inspire others to buy more. It's actually a very useful tool to keep myself accountable. Because even though my spending lately has been more than usual, it would be worse, I can tell you right now, if I hadn't already dedicated <laughs> to telling others in this video about how much I purchased. <laughs> there have been several purchases that I didn't make because I was like, mm, I would have to include that in my purchases at the end of the month. So um, I, it's very helpful for me to keep myself accountable. That's the reason for the video. So first let's start with some items that I actually purchased at the end of July. And I didn't count them in the July haul because I didn't have them yet. And I do tend to do that every month. If there's something I purchase at the end of the month, I wait to count it until I actually have it in my hand. So I did purchase some items from the ColourPop Wild Nothing collection. I have the palette, which looks like this, and I did include this palette in my one week one palette, which I really have been enjoying it. I got one of the lip oils. Oh, let's see, that's not it, here it is. <laughs> they have one of the Lux lip oils. I got the shade Playa Vista which this is actually one of the lip oils that does actually have just, you know, a tiny tinge of color to it. I do really enjoy this. Also, let's see, oh, I picked up one of the cream um, shadows. This is the one in Laurel. I actually am wearing it as a base today and I did use it like all the way up here in my crease. And I think that actually it's a really nice tone and something I could wear all year round. I still don't have a good handle on how it works as a base. Every time I wear it, I'm wearing an actual eyeshadow primer underneath it. I still need to try it as a base. But I'll show you which one this is. This was, I thought, of all the colors they had available, the one that I would enjoy the most. See how kind of nice and cool toned that is? So anyway, I enjoy, I've been enjoying that. This, it's, it's more of like a hard cream. Like it's not super squishy. Still a cream, but this will take a very, very, very long time to use up, even with daily use. So all of those items, I believe, plus shipping for the ColourPop Wild Collection, I paid $32.29 for these items. Another item that I had purchased at the end of July, but that wasn't here yet, was an item from Poshmark. And that would be this beautiful <laughs> palette right here. I've been wanting this palette for a really long time, and I was just about to go purchase the dupe. I was just tired of looking for a used one on Poshmark because people are selling their used sultry palettes right now for like $60. That's just ridiculous. And but I thought before I would go purchase a dupe, I would just check Poshmark one more time. And here there was someone clearing out their collection um, and she was selling it for $18. So with shipping, I think it was $26. But this actually took, I almost didn't make it, it or this almost didn't make it into this video. Um, it was one of those deals where it didn't ship and it didn't ship and I checked the seller's profile and they usually ship things out on time. So, you know, I just sent a message like, hey, do you have any updates on shipping for this item? And she didn't respond. And the way Posh Poshmark works, if you haven't purchased on it before, is essentially they don't get your money until you receive the item, like it's being held. So I wasn't really worried about losing money, um, but I didn't want to cancel my order either because you do have that option with Poshmark. If they don't ship it out with, in a timely fashion, you can cancel your order. So I just kind of waited and she finally messaged me back and she had an emergency in her family and she was super sorry about how long it took, which I completely understood. Those things happened, but she did get it sent out to me. So I'm just, I'm so happy I finally have it. I do feel like some of the shades have a little bit of hard pan in them. Um, like in comparison to my other Anastasia palettes, the shades aren't as fluffy, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You know what I mean if you've swatched Anastasia palettes, but I am really happy with the color story. I'm excited to play with this. But interestingly, she felt so bad about making me wait. It was almost a month, I think, before I received my item, but she sent along a bunch of extras, which she did not have to do. But now I have some more things to show you guys that just came with my Sultry palette. She sent along this Ace Beauty. It looks like a ColourPop shadow, actually. But no, it's from Ace Beauty. This is one of their glimmer shadows in the shade Iced Latte. And this, I don't have any other topper shades this color. It's very coppery, for sure. Almost orangey 
It's super pretty. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. She also sent me a little mini mascara from Beauty Concepts. I haven't opened it yet to look at the wand or anything. I try to only have a couple of mascaras open at once. And I took it out of the packaging it was in so it would fit better in my little drawer thingy. And it was in packaging that made it look like it was in sort of a holiday advent calendar. <laughs> anyway, so she sent along this. And she sent along this brand new, like it's unopened, still in plastic. This is an eyeliner from Sugar Cosmetics. This is the Wingman Waterproof Microliner in I'll Be Black. <laughs> and once again, I don't really want to open this until I'm ready to because these can dry out kind of fast. And she sent along another little palette. She sent along this palette from Wet n Wild. This is the Nude Awakening palette, which I thought actually had some, some similarities to the Sultry. I mean, you see kind of what I mean in some of the neutral tones kind of overlapping in these palettes. But in any case, I haven't tried this yet. I've just kind of swatched it. So that'll be fun to put in my uh, palette rotation and see if I like it. Oh, also I should mention my um, subscriptions and get those out of the way. I had Ipsy, which is normally $12. I also had an add-on, which made it $15. Allure was also $15. And this month I also um, purchased my annual FabFitFun subscription. I'm not gonna count that whole purchase price, however, to towards beauty, because I buy it mostly for the lifestyle items, but I did get my box and a few of the items were beauty. So what I did was there was eight items in the box. I divided it by the cost of the box and then multiplied it by three to get exactly how much I was spending on beauty. Prepaying up front, you pay slightly less for your box. So I think it's $45 per box. Yeah, $45 per box. So with there being three beauty items in there, that would come to $16.87 spent on FFF um, box items. I'm gonna count that razor that came, the hair oil and the glow milk. I don't have those here, but I can link up the video for you for the FabFitFun unboxing if you're interested. I also ordered in the FabFitFun add-ons this Scandinavia, um, the makeup finishing spray. This was $12. I should be set on finishing spray for a while. Definitely do not need to buy any. I picked up finally the number seven powder. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, finishing powder. And I honestly am not a good reviewer for powders. Like I just have not tried out very many and I do feel like it is really light. I'm wearing it under my eyes today. I feel like it is helping me not be quite so shiny. I mean, it's a finishing powder, not a setting powder. So I feel like the effect is going to be more um, minimal. So I'm still figuring that out to see even what I think of it. But I also did not have a brush. <laughs> so I had to buy a brush. I was looking specifically for the smaller e.l.f. brush, the pointed powder brush. They didn't have it at my Walmart and I needed a more you know, pointed brush. So I ended up getting this one from e.l.f. This is just their pointed powder brush. But anyway, the number seven was $13 and the brush was $6. I also ended up decluttering the under eye concealer I was trying out. It was just a little sample and I didn't really have another one that I wanted to use. So I ended up going and buying some concealer. This is from Revolution, the Conceal and Define. I got the shade C3. So far I'm liking it. I'm wearing it under my eyes today. I mean, I do have, you know, lines. <laughs> just like any normal person does under my eyes, but I feel like it's nice. I feel like it blends in really nice. There's the shade right there. I'm still working on like trying it out, but I so far I've been enjoying it. I just use a tiny little bit usually here that I then blend out around the bottom of the eye and I have been liking it. And this was $7. I went and I purchased some uh, small magnetic palettes from Shop Missé. They are very um, affordable. They were on sale for $4 each. So I got this one and I got this one. I already have things in them. And this one I started curating from some of my singles, a super cool toned purple palette. I'm looking forward to trying it. I haven't like used it yet, but I had fun making that. And then in this one is where I'm keeping my blushes from Sydney Grace. But those two together were $8. Then I happened to be in Walmart like almost immediately after I had watched one of Emily Noel's videos and I should never be allowed to have time to just wander Walmart because things like this happen. I ended up purchasing this single shadow from CoverGirl in the shade Mink. So far I'm not incredibly impressed but it is a pretty everyday shade. I am wearing it today. I mean, I do have another topper shadow over the top of it, but you can kind of see it here on the edges and I used it here like buffed under my eyes. I do think, like I said, it's a pretty everyday shade. I mean, it's nothing to like 
create a super wow moment, but I do think it's a pretty everyday shade. That's a really terrible swatch. Let me see if I can get a better one. Yeah, still not there. It doesn't look like much when you swatch it, but it is pretty on the eyes. But this was $3.44. Also while I was there, <laughs> I've never tried anything from Hard Candy and I picked up a couple lip products from them. And this one in particular got my attention because it looks just like the new Maybelline glosses. This is the Glosstopia Ultimate Lip Shine with Hyaluronic Acid and I got it in the shade Prism Lit. And look, it even has the big, bigger doe foot applicator and I do feel like it has a similar feel to the Maybelline ones. I don't think they are as thick as the Maybelline ones, but I feel like you can get the same effect from them. I've been enjoying these. And then I got one of their lip stains. This is the Syrup Kiss Lip Stain in Makeout Mauve. There, I put it up here. <laughs> All right, so that was definitely a moment of weakness. I try not to let myself buy random um, drugstore lip products because I do try to use up my lip products, um, the ones that I end up keeping and not decluttering. Speaking of, I think the reason why, like I just now kind of made the connection in my mind of why I was feeling weak was because I was feeling sad about some declutters that I had just done. I had to declutter, I think, two glosses and two liquid lipsticks from my stash that I thought were okay and I went to use them and they were not. And they were from a brand I don't necessarily want to mention on my channel, but they were expensive. <laughs> I'm thinking they were like $20 each. And so when I looked at like those in my hand, I'm thinking about how much money it represented. It made me really sad. It was the type of thing that I didn't let myself wear very often because it was fancy. And then here they went bad and I decluttered them. So maybe that's why I ended up buying so much on that particular day at Walmart. <laughs> I don't know, I hadn't made the connection at that point, but in any case, I was feeling melancholy and um, I ended up buying some lip products, which I didn't need, but I do like them. I think they're pretty. And if you guys have been watching my videos for the past month or so, you probably noticed that my skin was having an epic freak out. I'm still not completely healed. Like I'm still, you can kind of see from under my BB cream I've got all sorts of little breakouts happening, but it is much improved from what it was. And that was uh, actually cost some money as well. So what had happened was I ran out of the moisturizer that I'd been using that was really good actually for my skin. I didn't, it didn't make me break out. And I was just starting to use up some of my little samples that came in subscription boxes. And that's when I break out. And I've noticed that is when my skin freaks out the most is if I'm using a moisturizer that's too heavy. So I immediately went and purchased something else. This is from CeraVe. This is their PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. And I purchased it because it's ultra lightweight. I think I got it for something like $9.99. I'm really annoyed with, for myself for not checking, but that's how much I found this for online afterwards to try and add things up here. But it ended up still being too heavy, I still continue to break out. So I passed this on to my daughter. I'm trying to teach her to have, you know, a good skincare routine now. And I finally just ended up purchasing something for myself that I know works. And it was painful because I don't like doing that when there's other things I try to use, but obviously ep epically failed for my skin. So I went and I purchased this again. This is a pretty filter waterfall glow cream from Touch and Soul. And I found it I thought for a much more reasonable price on Amazon that's available on their site. On Amazon I got it for let me see. I have a note here, $20.89, whereas I think on their website, it might be over 30. I might be wrong about that. But anyway, cheaper on Amazon. So that really added to the cost this month of, of everything. <laughs> but this, my skin immediately started to calm down. I just really need a really lightweight cream. Otherwise my, my poor pores. <laughs> All right, so let's add everything up and we'll see what the damage was. All right, I added it all up and it comes to $197.42. I, if I thought last month was bad, this was about, I don't know, $20 more. I really do need to calm down. <laughs> and actually, I've gotten to a point where I do feel like I don't feel this urgent need to buy things. There are just a few things that have been on my wish list for probably like a year or two, like the Kaleidos palettes, where if they went on sale, I could see myself buying them. But um, in the month of September, I'm really going to try hard to think about how long it's gonna take me to use up all of my lip products in particular without even buying anything else. So anyway, <laughs> please don't judge me. But I appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with me today. It's funny, this floofy little shirt, my daughter saw me and told me I looked middle-aged and I said, what? <laughs> 
and she meant middle from like the middle ages like medieval like she told me i had a, a shirt like i was a peasant and i was like well like i guess it's i don't know but thank you guys so much again for hanging out with me today and i will see you in the next video it should be my project pan update next okay bye Thank <music> you.